Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I have my update for my palette rotation series as well as just my general palette usage for the month. So I'm going to first jump in and talk about how many palettes I used, my most used, and then we will go through the five palettes I had in for the project and talk about the looks I created. So this past month I used a total of 23 palettes out of my collection and my most used was my e.l.f. Retro Paradise palette. So I used this one a total of four times this past month which makes it my most used for July and this is one of my favorite palettes. I absolutely love it and it is rolling into my Pan Those Eyeshadows project. Just a little spoiler, that update will be coming on Friday if you are interested. So it was super fun to start reaching for this one this past month and I intend to get many more uses within the next couple of months as well. Alright, I only hit a couple of pans this past month. The first one, it comes from my Profusion Mixed Metals Peach palette. So the shade I hit pan on is the shade Wannabe. This one has had a dip for quite a while and I finally managed to get a pan in it this past month. I think it only took me a few more uses, so that makes four pans within this palette and this is definitely an older palette within my collection so I am very happy that it is showing some love, showing some pans and hopefully I can get some more soon. The second pan I hit this month comes from my Bubella Cosmetics Daisy Days palette and I hit pan in the shade Dawn. So this makes my third pan within this palette and this is also one that had a very significant dip in it so only took me a couple more uses this past month and I was able to hit pan on it which I am so happy about. I really do love this palette. It's a really nice one for everyday looks and I was using that one a lot in the inner corner so I was using it on a fairly small brush in the focused area so the pan is pretty small, but this is a very easy shade for me to use, so I'm very happy it has a pan in it. So within my collection, that now makes a total of 73 pans out of 1,041 shades, which is a total of 7.01%. I finally made it over the little 7% mark, just barely, but we made it. So I am really excited to keep seeing that number grow and hopefully continue to hit some more pans in my collection. So next up we can talk about the five palettes I had in for my palette rotation series. So for those of you who don't know, this is a super laid back project where I roll in five random palettes from my collection and my goal is to use them once for an everyday dedicated look. Very simple, but it helps me just kind of cycle through some palettes and reach for some that I might not have reached for that month. So the first palette I want to talk about is my Glitter Realm A Whole New World palette. Here is what this one looks like, and I will insert a picture of the look that I created. So for this look, I started out with Raja Through the Crease. Deepen that up with Cosmic and then Jafar in the outer corner, blend it through the crease a bit. And then I packed Prince Ali all over kind of the first two-thirds of the lid and brought that one into my inner corner. And then I used Sultan to just kind of blend everything out, smooth out the edges. And I really loved how this look came out. I am really focusing in on a few of the shades in this palette to try and hit pan on, so I did focus on those ones for this look, and I really do love how it turned out, and I am super excited to continue to reach for this palette. It is one of my favorites in my collection, so it was really nice to get a dedicated use, and I definitely intend to use it quite a bit more. Next up, we have my Nomad palette by Juvia's Place, and 
This is definitely a palette that I reach for more in the fall seasons, but I did create a look that I absolutely loved, so I will insert a picture of that. So for this look, I started out with the matte yellow shade up in the corner here, deepened that up with this brownish shade, and then really added some depth with the darkest brown within this palette. Focused that one kind of in the outer corner, and then I packed this kind of matte or shimmer black shade over top of the outer corner and blended that up into the crease a little bit. I packed this shade on the first kind of half of my lid, brought that one into the inner corner as well, and once again used the kind of off-white cream shade to blend everything out. And I absolutely love how this look came out. I think it is so pretty, and it was just a really nice use of this palette. And like I said, I don't really reach for this one too often, especially during the summer, so it was really nice to kind of have that opportunity to do so. So next up we have my Bubella Cosmetics Sweet Sunflower Palette and I will insert a picture of the look I created. So for this look I started with the shade Honey Pot through the crease, deepened that up with Warm Tan and then Canyon, and then packed the shade Fuzzy all over the lid to add some nice depth and then put Paradise in my inner corner and kind of brought that up through the inner corner. And I did like how this look came out. It wasn't my absolute favorite, but it was a nice everyday look, a little bit darker. So I did enjoy that. Super easy to create. This palette is pretty nice for everyday looks. So I was really happy to get a use out of it this past month. And I used a couple shades that I wouldn't normally reach for, so that was also nice. Alright, next we have my ABH Subculture Palette. So here is what this one looks like, and I will insert the look. So this one was super simple. I used Dawn Through the Crease deepened that up with New Wave and brought that onto my lid. And then I used Cube directly in the inner corner and then kind of brought Electric up farther into the inner corner. As you can see, it kind of goes up through the inner portion of my eye there and that was a little combo of those two shimmer shades. And then I put Fudge really tight to my lower lash line and I really loved how this look came out. Like I said, super simple. It was a really easy look for me to create this past month, and I really enjoyed getting another use out of this palette. So last but not least is my I Heart Revolution Little Mermaid palette. Here is what this one looks like, and I will insert a picture of the look. So this one is definitely a lot more fun and colorful than the previous looks you saw. So I started with Seaweed through my crease, blended that out with Scuttle, and brought those both onto my lower lash line as well. Then I put C on my inner and outer portion of my lid and blended that up into the crease a little bit as well. I put Aquata on the center of my lid and then Dingle Hopper in the inner corner and I loved how this look came out. It was super fun contrast to the neutral looks I had been doing and it was just really fun to reach into this palette and reach for some of the blue shades so I really enjoyed this look and just the process of creating it. So those are the five looks that I created with the five palettes I had in for July. Let me know which of the looks was your favorite and we can jump into drawing my palettes for August. Alright, so now we can get into choosing my new palettes for August. Always my favorite part of this video. So I have my palette rotation series wheel pulled up on the Tiny Decisions app. And as you can see, there are a lot of blacked out palettes. Those are ones that have already been in this year. So I'm going to draw in five new palettes. 
The first palette up we have is my Wet n Wild Stop Playing Safe palette. Number two is going to be my ABH Soft Glam. Three is ColourPop Back to Hogwarts. I feel like I've had some of these palettes in already, but I must not have. Number four is my new Nomad Okavango Safari palette. That one's going to be super exciting. And finally, we have my Ulta Gryffindor palette. So I'm going to go grab all five of those and be right back. All right, we got my five new palettes stacked up here. So I'm going to run through each of these. So my first palette up here is my Wet n Wild Stop Playing Safe. I am really excited that this one is getting rolled in. Not one I reach for a ton, but I do really enjoy it and it will be nice to use this next month. I feel like I got quite a few nice palettes for August, kind of the transition from summer to fall, so super excited about this one. Then we have my ABH Soft Glam palette. I feel like I've been reaching for this one a ton this year. It's been in my Pandos Eyeshadows project a couple of times, and I've hit quite a few pans in it this year, so going to get another use out of it this next month, which will be really nice. Just continue to show love and progress with this palette. Alright, I can't exactly remember which one of these came first, but this is my ColourPop Back to Hogwarts palette. This one is absolutely gorgeous. I love the color story in here. I think it has a beautiful mix of colors. It is one that I am trying to reach for more and show some love with. It was just in my Panda's eyeshadows a couple months ago with Nimbus 2000, so I got a few good uses from that project. So we'll get another one from this project and hopefully show a little more love to this palette. Alright, next up we have my Nomad Okavango Safari palette. So this is one of the newest palettes in my collection, and I am so excited it got rolled in. This will be a really nice opportunity to reach for this again and continue to test it out. So I am very excited that this one got rolled into the project. And lastly, we have my Ulta Gryffindor palette. This is one that is really nice to use, especially in the kind of fall months, so I'm super excited. It is one that I have been really wanting to reach for more. I have so many shades in this palette that I absolutely love, so this will be a good opportunity to play around with those, and I am very excited to be getting another dedicated use out of this palette. It is one that I really do love, so very excited that this one got rolled in. So those are the five palettes that will be rolling in for August. I think we have some really nice selections, and I am very excited to be getting use out of each of these palettes and just seeing what looks I can create with them. So let me know what you guys think of this video, what palette you are most excited to see a look with, Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Let me know what else you would like to see from me. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. And with all of that said, I will see you in my next video. Bye!